Because your body is not your body. Your body was lent to you. This is not your temple. We are the temple of God. God told us that this right here is only lent to us. Read it. We're the walking dead. You ever seen that movie, The Walking Dead? You ain't never seen that show? It comes on, everybody know about The Walking Dead, but you know what a, a person that's walking dead is, right? That's somebody walking around without the laws of God. Right. So this truth must be pushed throughout the state of South Carolina by all means necessary. Our people are in desperate need of God's laws out here. We're the men that stand boldly to get the job done against all opposition that standeth in our way. And our position will come. In fact, it's already here. Every day we put our lives on the line to save our people. And that's even in the midst of all the opposition that come our way. But this is our mission. It doesn't matter how we feel or what we think. We all have our own issues. But who's going to rise up when the Most High calls? It's time to gather the saints from Columbia to Spartanburg, Charleston to Myrtle Beach. We hit the streets for the lost sheep. So men of war, gather yourselves together. Let's get ready for battle. Strap your boots, no excuse, let's push this through. Whether it's two by two or the whole crew, get ready, we're coming through. We are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Israel, united in Christ, is a non-violent, Bible-based movement. IUIC. That's right. the sad thing about it. We've been destroyed so bad, we don't forgot who we are. Give me um 17 to 4 of um Jeremiah. Because one thing that we've forgotten, we've forgotten who we are. And the Most High God said that we were going to discontinue from who we are. Right now, we think that we're African American, we think that we're Puerto Ricans, we think that we're Cubans. But we're the Israelites. That's we're right. God's chosen people. But we've been beat down so long, our spirit been beat down so long, we don't even have no memory of who we are. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou... Even thyself shall discontinue from thy heritage. We discontinue from our heritage. You know what our heritage is? God's laws. He only gave his laws to us. He didn't give them to nobody else. Right. Hold that. Give me 17, um, Psalms 147. Hold that. Okay, give me 17. Surah. Surah, chapter 17, verse 11. Besides this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for inheritance. So he gave us the laws for inheritance. The laws is what brings us to life. Outside of us having the laws of God, we're the walking dead. You ever seen that movie, The Walking Dead? You ain't never seen that show? It comes on, everybody know about The Walking Dead, but you know what a, a person that's walking dead is, right? That's somebody walking around without the laws of God. Right. So when we walk around and we have no knowledge of who we are, we done forgot our heritage, we done forgot our cultures, they teach us everything that we do. They teach us what to eat. Right. They teach us how to dress. Right. They teach us how to treat each other. Why do you think we can look at each other and we'll kill each other quicker than they'll kill us? Because they taught us to do that. Because we don't have no knowledge of who we are. Go back to um, um, Jeremiah. Yes, sir. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. God gave us the laws. God gave us the heritage. But we forgot about it because we done came over here in slavery. We got beat down. We got beat down. Chains on us. But sometimes our people don't even believe it. But then guess what they're going to be doing tomorrow? They're going to be celebrating independence. What, what, where was we at in 1776? We was in chains. So what do we have in cookouts for celebrating that they don't apply to us? They gave us what they wanted us to learn. They gave us what, what they wanted us to celebrate. When we got laws, statutes, commandments, high holy days to keep. But we don't forget because we don't even know who we are. Go back to that. We from top. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies and the land which thou knowest not. We didn't know where we was going at when we got put on the slave ships. We didn't know. And then you know the sad thing is, the Native Americans, they was here on this land, right? They got taken to a land that they didn't know. Did you know that? They got taken back over to Spain, back over to Europe. They even got taken down to Barbados to work in the sugarcane fields. Wake them up. We've all been put on them slave ships, right. but we don't have no memory of it. So now, do you have any questions? I got a thousand questions. Give me one of your questions. What you got? All right. You 
say the Bible is basically it has all our history in it, right? Right. And it basically been rewritten. No, it ain't been rewritten. It just ain't been taught right. Right. That's right. How can let me ask you something? Your grandma probably got a book at the house or a photo album book with all her children in it, right? Okay, so now go to say something happened to grandma, house fire, something, everything just got left at the house. We don't forgot about it because it was a traumatic moment, right? All of a sudden, the book end up at the Goodwill. Now somebody else come along and grab the book at the Goodwill and then they take it home. Now they start showing everything. Then I added some pictures in there. Is it their book? Yeah, no. This is the picture that was added. You understand what I'm saying? Everything else is in the book is the same. They just gave you this right here image. So you gotta look at it that way. They took your book, took, took your picture out of it, your granddaddy, and then put their granddaddy in there, and then put their family history in there, and try to attach them and dis detach it from you. Right. That's what they did to us. Matter of fact, um, it, um, no, the one in um, um, Maccabees. Maccabees, yeah. Okay. Because it's already written and documented that they was gonna do that. It's documented in the Bible that they was gonna take their images and put them in, their, in our book. That's what they did when they gave us that image. Watch this, read. First Maccabees chapter three and verse 48. Read. And laid open the book of the law. This is the book of the law. This is after they done conquered us. This is right here what they tried to do, read. Wherein the heathen, the other nations, had sought to paint the likeness of their images. So whenever they took our image, took ours out and put their image in there, everything is written in there. This ain't a game, this is real life. This is real life, this, we at the end of the road right now. Either you gonna live or die. Right now we already dying every day. Right. Now we killing each other. They trained us to be killers against each other. Right. They don't have to do it no more. Right. It's like, oh, we ain't doing nothing. Y'all doing it to yourself. Right. But they taught us how to do that. They taught us self-hatred. We forgot about it, cause remember, we don't even remember our heritage anymore. Do you have any more questions? Sure. I'm gonna hey. uh, come by y'all uh, school, Jet Ray Street, Saturday. Yeah, come on through, man. Hey, call the number on the back of the flight, cause it's very important. You got kids? You ain't got no kids? All praises, man. Hey, come on through. You got some homies that wanna come and wanna learn? Wake them up, man. Hey, that's what we come out for. Hey, you, you smoke, man? Do you know what you're doing whenever you defile in your temple, man? Give me that in um, 3, uh, 6, 16. First Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? What we got to know now, because we discontinued from our heritage. What's your name again, my man? Junior. Junior? Junior, we discontinued from our heritage, okay? When we discontinued from our heritage, we got destroyed, we got ran out of our land, our temple got destroyed. So we don't have a temple to go and worship at no more, okay? So now this realm of God say, read it again. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? Now we are the temple of God. Our bodies is the temple of God, okay? Right. Read. Is that the spirit of God dwelleth in you? The spirit of God is only in his chosen people. Right. That's the black Hispanics and Native Americans. That's right. So we gotta we gotta preserve our our temple. We can't be putting out putting toxins in our bodies. I remember at one time I was foolish and I used to smoke those things. Those things don't do nothing but cause you cancer, man. Right. I just heard about a brother today that's dead. They were trying to ask me who he was. I said, I don't remember him because I ain't seen him in a long time. But the brother done died because he was smoking cigarettes and all this stuff like that. Your body is the temple. The black and mild is not a part of your temple. You're right. defiling your temple. Matter of fact, that's not even your body that you got right there. Wait, no, read no. on. If any man defile the temple of God. So every time you smoke, you're defiling the temple of God. You are the temple of God. Read. Him shall God destroy. God will destroy you with that cancer. You ever seen them people that be talking, putting the thing to the side of their neck? You ever seen the people that smoke, that's breathing through a little trachea right there in the middle of their neck? I forgot what the heck that thing called. But you know what I'm talking about? That way they got to open the airways up? Mm -hmm. That stuff is real. That is a part of the curses for, for um, breaking God's laws. Your body is the temple of God. Right. Go to Wisdom of Solomon 15 and 8. Because your body is not your body. Bring it up. Your body was lent to you. Bring it up. This is not your temple. Right. We are the temple of God. God told us that this right here is only lent to us. That's right. Read it. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 15 and verse 8. Read it and employing his labors lewdly, and he maketh a vain God of the same clay. 
So we make vain gods out of the things that we see. This right here is a vain god. There in your hand is a vain god. You might not think it's a god, but you worship it whenever you yeah, gotta no. get up and it's the first thing you gotta do is on your mind right. is that. Right. God ain't even nowhere on there. First thing you gotta do, you gotta take your tote. Sometimes after you eat, you gotta take a tote. I know how it used to go. Read. Even he, which a little before, was made of earth himself. We only made of earth. We was made from the earth. God created us from the dust of the earth. The darker you dig, the deeper it gets. Right. That's how we was made. That's how we was created. That's why the, that's why one of the people died, the, the pastor, the only thing he really didn't got anything right about is ashes to ashes and dust to dust. Because that's where we come from. Read. And within a little while after returning to the same, out of which he was taken, when his life which was lent him shall be demanded. Our life gonna be demanded. Because it's only lent to us. Right now we gotta get it right. Remember, we discontinued from our heritage. We thought that we was African Americans. We thought that we was Puerto Ricans. We thought that we was Native American Indians. We thought that we was Cherokee Indians. We thought that we was Mexicans. We thought that we was Panamanians. We thought that we was Brazilians. But guess what? We're the Israelites. That's right. Now we're now we've woken up and we're beginning to understand who we are, how we're supposed to be, how we're supposed to live. That's and we're right. not supposed to be defiling our temple. Right. We are the temple of God. Right. We don't have nothing to worship. We don't have no place of worship. Only thing we got is our school, our history book, the laws, the statutes of God. That's what we're supposed to have. That is only defiling you. That is defiling you. And if you take it for a joke, the most I can curse you and give you cancer, man. Right. Give you the kind of cancer that'll eat you up. What we are here to do, we are here to teach our people the truth. Because if we don't, how do we supposed to know? Look, before I knew the truth, heck, I used to smoke them things. I used to be out partying. I used to be out reveling. I used to do all that kind of craziness. Then when I woke up and I finally realized, I'm like, hold up. I ain't supposed to be doing all this right here. No, no, because I want life. Give me Baruch 4 and 1. I want life because the only way we come to life is the Bible. This is the only way we got life. You don't got life by going to buy a new pair of shoes. You don't got life by getting a new car. You don't got life about nothing. Even like with, with your hair and everything. How come your, your tips of your hair is that um, color? You bleached them? Do you know your hair is dead now? Were you bleached that? You knew that? But you know there's a law that we ain't supposed to do that either? Do you know that? Hey, that's what we out here for. Look, we didn't know a lot of stuff, but as we know it, we got to teach it. That's our job. I set my own laws. Now you can't set your own laws. Because, give me that Baruch 4 one. I'm gonna show you that, then I'm gonna show you the law that God got set for it. Read. Baruch chapter 4 and verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God. This right here is the book of commandments. We don't have our own laws. We didn't create ourselves. God created us in his image. So how can we say that we create, we do what we want to do? You don't do what you want to do. That's what we've been doing. That's what America taught us to do. Just that's the reason why we got so many baby mamas and baby daddies. That's why we got so many broken up households. That's why we got single parent households. Why? Because that's what they taught us on the breeding farms. When they would take a, a strong buck like yourself and they have you up there in a, like a dog kennel and they'll bring a young girl from another plantation just for you to breed with. Now guess what? Through time and time and time, now they let us loose. Now what are we doing? Now what are we doing? Now we out here doing the same thing they taught us in slavery. Now they ain't gotta teach us no more and they ain't gotta, they ain't gotta tell us to do it. Now we naturally do it, naturally. At one time you got killed when you, was, when you got caught with a white woman. Now it's natural for you to do it. And nobody has seen that. That's one of the biggest bamboozles. Emmett Till got killed for so-called whistling at a woman. Now it's okay to be with her, the white woman. Wake up, wake up. And then she lied and said it on her deathbed about a year or two ago, before she passed for a life pass. So he got basically mauled and beat, beat they, they, oh my God, I don't even want to go into it, but the way they did him, don't make any sense and it was all based off of a lie. And now it's okay to be with them? No, we stay away from them. Right. They're, like, they're like a disease, they're a curse. You understand what I'm saying? Now, every one of the brothers that you know that got one, they're going through problems in hell. How do I know? Because I went through the same thing. Read that from the top. This is a commandment, I'm sorry, this is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endures forever. This Bible, these laws gonna endure forever. Right now, while we in this world and the next world to come, these laws gonna always be here because we're gonna be teaching the other nations. We're going to be teaching everybody. We ain't going to be no lawless people. We ain't going to be no sinful people no more either. Read. All they that keep it 
shall come to life. The only way you come to life and you got life is to open up your, open up your eyes and come back to keeping God's laws. Right. That's the only way we got life. We think that we got life because we got free will to do everything. That's what America wants you to do. America got you holding up like this brick wall right here. You could build a house on this foundation right here, right? But if you begin to take the bricks out of the foundation, what's gonna happen to the house? That's what we're doing right now. When we out here teaching our people, we're breaking the foundation of America. We're breaking the foundation of what they taught us. We're breaking everything that they've given us and we're taking it back and putting it in order the way God told us to do it. it we don't have no more time for no games. We're trying to get life. I don't want death. Read. But such as leave it. So when we leave the laws of God, like when we left the laws of God, that's why we have so much misery. That's why we have murder in our community. Read. Shall die. That's the reason why we die. Because we don't have the laws of God in our life. They tell us you go to church on Sunday, the first day of the week, when the, um, when the fourth commandment says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Why is that? Because that's the day that you're supposed to be worshiping God. What, what's going on on Saturdays? Well, cookouts, sales, games, parties. Everything that God said don't do, that's what they want you to. How you doing, my man? How you doing, man? They used to sell what now? Oh, they used to they used to sell. Take the people literally to the sheriff department. Mm. So they used to sell people for twenty five cent. Twenty five cent is in the, in the wall of the. Wow! And guess what? That's documented in the Bible. Give me Deuteronomy twenty eight sixty eight. Watch this. And and, and 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 it is true. Right. All the all the railroad the Jew is now is moving and talking about it. Watch this right here. Watch this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I know. It's, right, it's written right here in the Bible. Watch this. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So it says that the Lord is going to bring us into Egypt with ships. Now watch and see what the word Egypt means. Got that? Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. So what did it just call a Egypt? Can I can I can I capture that picture? Yeah, you can take a picture of it. Take a picture of it. You see the old inspection and sale of it. Right. That's it. That's what we've been to read. We've been to read it. We've been to read it for you. Check it out. I documented in Charlotte, North Carolina, sir. Right. 25 cents. Going to the sheriff department. Okay. It happened like that. Well, check it out. Read read it again from the top. Listen real good, huh? Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68 And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships So it just equated Egypt with bondage, okay? So it's going to bring us into bondage or slavery again with ships, read By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again So what won't we see no more again? What is our original home? Like? Guess what? The Bible got it Give me Galatians 4 26, watch, the Bible going to speak it Watch you see. No, no. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you where we at. Read. Galatians chapter 4 verse 26. Chapter 4 verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. So Jerusalem is our motherland. That's where we're from. So over there where them fake Jews at, the Jew-ish, means something like that's where we're from. That's our homeland. That's why it's always kind of destruction and everything going over there and fighting it. The land ain't never had peace. It ain't gonna be peaceful. Read. Go, go, back, go back to 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. So we won't see our homeland no more again because we're going into slavery on ships. Right. Watch this, read. And there, and there, where we're gonna be taken to, and there, and there, and there, Read. Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So we're going to be sold, just like what you said. We was going to be sold, inspecting the sold. The same thing that they do whenever they, um, if you watch the NFL combine, they inspect them and then they basically buy them. Ain't no different. Ain't no different. Read. And that's all it takes. Ye shall be sold unto your enemies, 
for burn men or slave men and burn women and slave women and no man shall buy you that word means nobody gonna save us the only person gonna save us is Jesus Christ the black Messiah That's right. because one thing that we gotta understand is who we are right matter of fact I think that's in 11 11 of Isaiah yes, sir. Hey, watch this right here. I'm going to show you that we were scattered. It's written in the Bible that we were scattered in Asia also. What's happening? She, she wants to know about the least commandments. But she asked, how do you know that I'm not keeping commandments? I said, by the least commandments. Why would I assume she's not keeping commandments? Okay, I'll show, you, I'll show you one commandment right now. Okay? Watch this right here. Now, you're going to follow me? We're going to let the Bible speak. Okay? Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Because God, one thing about us. We don't forgot who we are. We forgot our heritage. We forgot how God told us to dress and everything. Even how to eat. Even how to treat each other. These right here are some of the least. Watch this right here. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 4. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So it says that a woman should wear what pertains to a man. Are you from the south? What did they, what did they used to say back in the day? Boy, pull up your what? Pull up your breeches. Okay, now we're gonna show you where that came from. Yes, that's that's what he, my granddad used to tell me. That boy, I'll pull up your britches. But we're gonna see what they what they where we get that from. Got that in Exodus? Yes, sir. Exodus chapter twenty-eight and verse forty-one. Bring it up. And thou shalt put them upon Aaron thy brother and his sons with him, and shalt anoint them and consecrate them and sanctify them, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. So he's going into what he's got, Aaron. The Levitical priest wearing. Now let's see if he said that he got his daughters wearing this right here. Read. And thou shalt make them linen breeches. Linen what? Breeches. What is a breech? A breech is a split. Right. Pants is what it's going into. That's I don't right. Agree with the word. Okay, watch. I'm just saying, who, who on this earth, including y'all, no one's following every commandment. We don't even know all of them. The commandments are right here. Sis, sis, right here, the commandments are in the Bible. So That's we right. We follow them. We follow the commandments. We keep the Sabbath day holy. We keep the high holy days. We eat the lawful foods. We don't eat the slop that they gave us. We don't eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. We don't eat that. Yes, do we believe in Jesus? Yes, we believe in Jesus, the black Messiah. So y'all follow, I don't understand. You say you, so you say you follow every commandment. You don't break down your life. Anytime if I fall, I repent. Right. That's why repentance, that's the purpose of Christ coming. But whenever you willful sin, give me willful sin. I mean, there's a difference whenever you don't know and whenever you do know and then you're willfully doing it. It's like right now I'm willfully showing you the scriptures. It's like pharisaical. No, it's not pharisaical. If I'm teaching you the laws and you understand what the law is, it's up to you to choose to keep it. you also know our society and you know that you, certain things but guess what? That, are, that are unavoidable. Like what? Like me wearing you can't put a dress on? on the no, not oh, okay, now if you, all right, all right, hold on, hold on. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. You say that you work on a job. Okay, we're, look, hold on for a second. Hold on for a second. Just, all right, okay, okay, check it out. This right what you can do. You can wear your clothes that you got to wear for your job. As soon as your job is over, then you put back on your, your godly clothes. That's right. The commandment, the, the two biggest ones. What matters is my heart. Since we none of us gonna reach the your mark. heart. Where's your heart at? None of us gonna reach the mark. Where's your heart? Listen, what I'm saying. Let me finish my sentence. Since none of us are gonna reach the mark as far as not sinning. My heart and sick. how I treat Please. people. Please. Huh? And how I love people. What is your heart? Give me Mark 721. Let me show you. Let me show you what the heart is. So you can understand what the Lord said about the heart. Okay? See, sometimes we go with what the world say, but we don't understand what it means. Read. Mark chapter 7 verse 21 from, from within out of the heart of men proceed evil thoughts so from far from within out of the heart meaning the mind of men proceed the evil thoughts hey bro don't get don't get don't get don't, get, don't get let her draw you away brother hey brother hey brother hey brother hey brother check this out I want you to listen to this right here check it out we're gonna read it from the top far from within out of the heart of men proceed evil thoughts so it says for far within from from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. What, where's your heart at? My heart. It's my costume. Read it again. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. Where your thoughts come from? Cosmos. Your thoughts come from your mind. Where's think about it. My mind is. Everything that you do, you're thinking. Whenever you think, don't where it come from? Your mind. 
I'm trying to show you where your heart is I, at. I, I didn't do that. Read it again. Read it again from the top. Far from within. So it says, far from within. Out of the heart of men. Out of the mind of men. Proceed evil thoughts. Before anybody do anything, they think about it. That's your heart. We've been taught that this right here was our heart. They call it a heart, but this is more like the pump. Okay? Read on. Adulteries. It comes out of your mind whenever a man decides to go and sleep with another one, another man's wife. Fornications. Whenever it's two people that are not married decide to go and sleep with each other. Murders. When you decide to go and kill somebody. Thefts. When you decide to steal from somebody. Covetousness. Whenever you want something that somebody else has. Wickedness. When you decide to be evil. Deceit. When you decide to deceive somebody. Lasciviousness. Whenever you're trying to do some sexual immorality things that's going on in the world today. An evil eye. Even when you're evil towards your brother. Blasphemy. Speaking lies. Pride. Being prideful against each other. Foolishness. Just doing some dumb stuff. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. Everything comes from your mind and that's what defiles us. Because before we decide to do anything, we think about it. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children.